Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So this will be my second part of the, you know, the classification model and how you want to evaluate your classification model. So in my previous video, I will provide a link for that. I discuss based on the confusion metric that you, you know, generate or build, you can actually find your accuracy and based on that accuracy, you can find your misclassification rate or error rate. Okay, in this uh, video, uh, I'll discuss with you, all right, how you want to find th another three uh, important uh, measurement or, you know, the thing that you can find. Uh, first is recall. Okay, so let's see how to find the recall or how to calculate the recall. So recall, the definition of recall is out of, you know, out of all the positive classes, how much that you predicted correctly. So it should be, you know, a good one. It's supposed to be as high as possible. So recall is actually equals to your true positive, all right? And you know, true positive divide by your true positive, all right, and you plus with your false, all right, negative. So, for our case here, this will be all right, this will be four, all right, four, and what is your? false negative is 2 all right you know so this will be 4 over 6 so this is your recall for this uh this example given here all right so you know let's uh another thing that you can actually measure is precision so what is precision if you look carefully all right it's just a derivative of you know, recall just you know because the definition is different. So precision is actually out of all the positive classes that you have predicted correctly, how many are actually positive? So if you want to find precision, all right. If you want to find precision, is actually if you see, all right, is your true positive, all right, your true positive. Right, and then you divide by with your true positive, and then you plus with your false, all right, false positive, all right. So means that uh, precision is in true positive divided by true positive plus false positive. Means that uh, how many are actually positive? So, for example, our uh, model here is going to be, all right, four, four, all right, and then you plus with your false negative that is actually one, and this will give me four over five, all right. So, you know, you can actually find a recall. So, a recall is supposed it's supposed to be as high as possible. And precision gives you uh, from all the positive classes that you have predicted correctly, you know, how many are actually uh, positive. All right. So another thing, okay, another thing that you can actually measure uh, from, you know, from your confusion matrix is your F measure. So what is F measure now? So F measure right, helps to uh, measure recall and also pre precision at the same time. So let's see the definition of uh, F measure. Right? So F measure is actually equals to 2, all right, you times with your recall, okay, and then you times with your precision, and then you divide by your recall plus with your Precision. So for our example here, just now we have two, all right, with times with our record just now is four over six, and then we times with our precision that is four over five, and then you divide by 
recall that is actually uh, 4 over 6 you plus with 4 over 5 so this is your F measure so means I, I, I try to create these two videos so that you can easily uh, understand how to find this um, accuracy misclassification rate recall precision and also F measure so this can be a very basic uh, measurement that you can use to evaluate how good your classification model you build. So in this example, we build a, 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 a maybe a bias classifier for a spam. Okay, thank you very much.